The Battle of Alia, 387 BC The Battle of Alia was between the Roman Republic and the Senones, Gallic tribes that invaded northern Italy. The Senones invaded northern Italy and settled along the Adriatic coast. There they were called to the Etruscan town of Clusium, where a Clusian called Arnus wanted to use the Celts to take revenge on another Clusian called Lucamo. When the Celts arrived, the Clusians felt so threatened by their numbers that they asked Rome for help. Rome sent three sons of Marcus, Fabius and Bustus, a powerful Roman ambassador, to attend the negotiations. There was a fierce argument and in the heat of the moment, one of the brothers, Quintus Fabius, killed a Celtic chieftain and broke the oath of neutrality. The Celts went to Rome and demanded that the brother in question be handed over to them for suitable punishment. They were refused and then the Celtic horde marched towards Rome. The Romans travelled 11 miles north from Rome to meet the Celts across the river Tiber and met them on a plain next to the river Allia. On one side you have the Celts, led by their war chief Brennus, who commanded a horde of 30,000 Gallic light infantry. On the other side you had General Quintus Sulpicius, commanding a 15,000 strong army made up of Roman hoplite phalanxes, light infantry and Roman cavalry called the Equites. Sulpicius expected Brennus to charge straight at them, so he positioned his phalanxes along the plain to engage the horde. However, Sulpicius also had a large number of inexperienced troops. He decided to place them in reserve on the right flank on the small hill. Brennus, fearing of being outflanked by the Roman reserves, ordered his best warriors to stream up the hill and attack the Roman reserves first. The Romans held their ground for a while, but were no match by the brute strength of the Gauls. This sent disarray through the rest of the army, and then the rest of the horde charged Sulpicius and the phalanx. In the end, the Roman army was pushed back towards the Tiber, and many of them were either cut down whilst escaping, or drowned in the Tiber, weighed down by their heavy bronze armour. This left Rome undefended. So after three days, the Gauls entered an undefended Rome and sacked it. Realising the possibility of starvation or slaughter, the Romans trapped on the Capitoline Hill surrendered and agreed to pay a ransom of £10,000 weight in gold. When the Romans objected, Brennus threw his sword onto the scales shouting, Vi Victus, or woe to the vanquished. Well, thank you for watching and listening. All sources are listed and linked into the description below. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. I've been the Ancient History Guy and as always, I'll be seeing you later.